Water is not just lakes, rivers, and falls. Sometimes it's the after effect of weather. So we'll show you how to do a rut here and a puddle, which has got some water in it from the latest rainstorm. And I think you'll find this to be extremely easy. I've gone ahead and just put in a little path here and a patch of grass. And uh, we'll just bring the rut right over here. See, I've just got Van Dyke Brown loaded on a number four flat bristle. And here's the puddle. And so we'll just put a puddle like this. And then maybe, yep, there goes the, the, the rut. It just came right around like this. And we're just going to have an extra puddle. I was born and raised in Illinois, southern Illinois, and we used to have to walk to school. And sometimes it was always fun to walk after rain, because then we could jump in the, the puddles. It was fun until we got home, that is. I'm going to take something that's called a paint eraser. Some people call it a wipeout tool. I want to eliminate a lot of color here. We'll take a little bit. See, it just wipes out most of the color right there. That's where in the rut there's going to be some water. And then, of course, I just drew the puddle for you. And the next thing to do is to go ahead and put some Prussian blue right into those areas. All I'm doing is taking my brush, loading them up, and just going ahead and putting that color in there. Now this is just pure Prussian blue. We'll lighten it up in a second to the color we want. Go ahead and grab some more, but I'm using the full color because we've got a lot of paint in there already, a lot of that white paint, or dark brown paint. So once that's been done, I'll wipe my brush clean. I'll come back, I'll take some titanium white, and I'll start to make this a little bit lighter until I have the color that I want for that rain. All right, I think that's going to work pretty good right there. Really easy doing these ruts. We'll go over here, and there's another one here on the rut. It's kind of a blue-gray because of the gray brown that's mixing in with the blue always produces gray. Move it up a little bit, and we'll be able to lock and roll, as they say now. I'm going to pull down a reflection over here, because no matter what kind of a water you have, whether it's lakes, streams, ocean, and so forth, there are always reflection. Water is always reflecting what's around it. So since we have some brown right here, see, I'm just going to grab this. Pull it straight down again. And then shallow. Now if you don't have enough, you can always go back into the brown with your brush. See how I'm just pulling that straight down? Come over here. Straight across. Just take your knife. Short edge of your knife. We'll load up some of the watercolor right here. Come back in here. Take your brush. Pull down on this other side. Horizontal. Take a little bit of the water. And then all you have to do is load up a little more Van Dyke Brown on your brush and bring the outside edge over. See, here's the edge of that puddle. And here's the edge of this one. And then just go ahead and blend it back into the path. Let's see. 
just that easy to produce a little puddle and some water in a rut. I know when I was doing my 9 to 5 job, I always felt like I was in a rut. So I identified with this pretty easily. So there we are. We've got a nice, nice little puddle right in here. And we can just go ahead and add some dirt. Pull that out. Straight out. We've got the reflection in here and that water line. So just bring that right up to your water line. And that's how easy it is.